Bitcoin is a transparent public ledger that reveals the origin and destination of every transaction. Bitcoin transactions show where the coins that are being spent came from, known as inputs, and where the coins are being sent to, known as outputs. Each input and output has an address and an amount. If a payment creates two outputs, the receiver can track the leftover change that belongs to the sender when it is spent in a future transaction. If a payment consumes more than one input, an observer can link multiple payment addresses used by the same sender together. These kind of transactions are easy to trace in the blockchain, revealing unnecessary information about your wallet's balance and transaction history to anyone who looks for it. A solution to Bitcoin's privacy problem is a special type of transaction called the coin join, which includes inputs from multiple users in the same transaction. A coin join transaction allows you to privately shift your coins from the original addresses known by previous senders or receivers into new addresses that are not deterministically linked to your previous transactions. The coin join coordinator starts a 10 minute timer for users to submit proofs of their inputs that they want bundled into the coin join wrap. Each input is registered randomly with a unique core identity, so the coordinator does not know if any two inputs belong to the same user. At least 150 inputs must be registered during this 10 minute period for the coin join to proceed. If enough inputs were registered with the coordinator, then users create new unique tour identities to submit claims to return their coins as new private outputs, which match amounts chosen by other participants. This process is completely non-custodial, so the coordinator and the other coin join participants cannot steal your funds, even if you lose connection. So can this cooperative construction fix all the possible ways to track your Bitcoin addresses that we covered before? Let's look and see. The first transaction example we saw before showed how the receiver can follow the address from the change output to track the sender's future transactions. Since a coin join creates many outputs of the exact same size, this allows any change to be hidden by breaking it down into amounts that match other users. The second transaction example we looked at earlier showed how an observer can use a cluster of input addresses to link the sender's previous transactions together. Since a coin join contains inputs from many users, it's no longer possible to connect any two input addresses to a single wallet, which keeps information about previous payments separated from each other. Each consecutive coin join your coins participate in increases the size of the crowd that it is hiding in, allowing users to boost their privacy as much as they want before sending or storing their coins. If you want to learn more about Bitcoin privacy, subscribe to our channel and check out the documentation at wasabiwallet.io.